Here we go. Two stage three. Now let's have a look then. Colin Wright. There's no sticker on the door. Never mind. Um, here we go. He's in there somewhere. Let's have a look. Okay. Some laughing going on there. Somebody recently said it's not really juggling because you're not letting the green one go. Trust me, it's juggling. All right, so here we go. Let's have a look. I'll let the green one go. Here we go. Let's let the green one go. <laughs> There's two problems yeah. with this. One is I don't actually know what I'm doing. <laughs> and the other is I can only do it going that way. Let's face it, a trick with a limited life it really is. But people were doing the most amazing different tricks with three balls. And I thought, that is so much more fun than chucking five in the air trying to catch them and failing. So I thought, you know, I went up to somebody, I went up to a guy called Adam, and I, I, Adam Chalprap, and I said to Adam, show me a three ball juggling trick. And he said, can you do a cascade? Oh, juggling tricks have names. Uh, this cyclic thing, that's called a shower. This figure of eight on its side, the infinity sign, that's called a cascade. Uh, two in each hand or three in each hand, that's called a fountain. Okay, so he said, can you do a cascade? I said, yes, I can do a cascade. He said, the first trick you need to learn, actually I'll work that later, this is the second trick you need to learn, but he said, the first trick you need to learn, pick your favorite color of ball, I'm gonna use the yellow one, and instead of throwing it in the middle the way you normally would, throw it over the top. Got that? Yellow ball over the top. And I wrote that down. He said, learn it with your left hand first, assuming you're right-handed. Learn it with your less good hand. Learn it with your left hand first, because you'll find if you can do it with your left hand, magically you'll do it with your right hand with no extra work. So I wrote that down. He said, once you can do it with your good hand and your less good hand, that means you can take the yellow ball and throw it over the top in both directions. <coughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to try this again. Here we go. Throw it over the top in both directions. This is called this is called tennis. There's <laughs> been no obvious reason. But anyway, uh, so this this is called tennis. And so he said, uh, so you can throw the the one over the top. But actually, once you can throw one over the top from the left hand, why not throw them all over the top with the left hand? Every ball, every throw, left hand, all right? So you do the yellow one, and the green one, and the yellow one, and the green one, and the yellow one, and the... <laughs> <laughs> and the pink one, there it is. And you get this. Now, where's the crossing point gone? There isn't one. Now, hang on a minute. A little while ago, I said that this cascade is a twisted circle. If you put a twist in a circle, you get a crossing point. No crossing point, no twist. Somehow I've taken the twist out. I've untwisted my, or as a friend of mine says, I've untwisted my circle. <laughs> Where has the twist gone? And what happens is my hand is now going this way round instead of going this way round. If you draw an arrow on a sheet of glass, you can see there the arrow coming up on the right-hand side, and turn it around, then the arrow comes up on that side. The direction of the arrow appears to change because I've put in a twist. And so by having this hand thrown over the top, the hand is going the wrong way around, I've twisted, or in this case, un well, untwist, right? I've untwisted, so I've, I don't have to do it with this hand, I can do it with this hand. And if I do that, I end up, again, with an untwist circle, severely <laughs> distorted but no twist. And if you look at this in a mirror, you'll see this looks the same as this. Because here the balls are going over the top left to right. Here they're going over the top right to left. It turns out that's not the most interesting or useful way to think about it. Take a video of this and play it backwards. And then you get this. So throwing over the top with this hand is the same as with this hand but running backwards, which is slightly unexpected. But now, here's the question. What happens if you throw over the top with both hands? So do I get, do I get a twist or not? So I'm, I'm, this one and this one, do I get a twist or not? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a vote. I'm going to take a really quick vote. And uh, this is introducing you to my voting procedure, which is really quick. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, don't do anything yet. I'm going to say, do I have a twist? Yes, no. And if you're slow, you'll vote for me. All right? <laughs> and I'm going to go, not yet. I'm going to go, have I got a twist? Yes, no. All right, so very good. Okay, so here we go. Are you ready? If I throw over the top with neither hand, I have a twist. With this hand only, no twist. With this hand only, no twist. 
If I throw over the top with both hands, not yet, the question is, will I have a twist? Are you ready? Will I have a twist? Yes, no. Ooh. <laughs> Lots of people said no, I don't know if they were just 